Hello and welcome to another video. In this video it's time to upgrade my Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna install the, the Ubiquiti U6 Plus on the wall right there. I'm gonna be powering it with their max 15 watt PoE injector. Right now I have two different access points, one for the normal Wi-Fi and one for the VLAN that I use for my IoT devices. I also have the Ubiquiti Cloud Gateway Ultra as my gateway so I can use VLANs. And I also got a Flex Mini switch if I need to connect more stuff. First we're gonna do the unboxing. So Ubiquiti stuff is always easy to unbox because they have this thing that you just rip like this. Then you can turn it around and just pull the stuff out. So here we have the access point itself. There is the installation guide thing so that you can install it straight on the wall. Beneath that you have the metal plate if you install it on roof panels that office buildings often have. And then we have the one that I'm gonna put on the wall. And a little user guide that I won't need. Let's jump into the installation. Now I have to make the cable as well and I don't know if one of these will fit in the access point or behind it so I'm gonna skip that one. And now that should work. Then I can remove this little bit that was there so that I get the cable through. Then I start by plugging it in. Let's see if I can find the right spot. I think it's in place now. And I can pull the cover off. The next step is to put the cable channel thing there. This isn't straight anymore. First I'm gonna measure how long I need it to be. About 120. Then I'm just gonna go outside and cut this. Now I just hope I get it straight the first time. That's about as straight as it gets I think. studio lots are dying. I like how the AP is like bluish, the wall is white and uh, this is almost yellow. I'm gonna charge my studio lights and make the other end of the cable then I'll come back. There is a mounting bracket that came with the PoE injector but I'm just gonna put the PoE injector on the cable rack that I have under my desk. So I'm gonna connect it now. Now the access point should light up soon. It did. Now I should be able to configure it so I'll come back when I'm in the Unify software. As you can see the Unify software already found my access point. So then I just click add here. Now it seems to be online. 
Then I'll add another Wi-Fi so I have one for my IoT devices as well. Then I'm gonna use the IoT VLAN and now it should be fine. But I'm gonna remove the 5 GHz from it. Wi-Fi band and then remove 5 GHz. And then now it should work. I'm gonna try it on my phone. 103 down and 60 up, that's acceptable. That's on 2.4 GHz only, because it's still setting up the 5 GHz. Okay, so everything seems to be working now. I just have to change the Wi-Fi on all devices because I made the custom SSIDs that I didn't use before. I actually think that I'm gonna make one more Wi-Fi network so I have one for my cameras as well. Now I think I'm ready here. So now I just have to connect all devices like I said before. But I think that's all for this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.